Hello, my name is Mike Wong, physiotherapist from My Physio To Go. In this video, I'm gonna go through what the Achilles tendon is, some of the risk factors that can put you at a higher risk of injury, and finally highlight some of the strategies and exercises that you can incorporate to help prevent this. The Achilles tendon is a very strong band of fibrous tissue that connects the calf muscle to the heel bone, also known as the calcaneus. The calf muscle originates in the back of the knee and consists of the more superficial gastrocnemius muscle, which you can visibly see when somebody's pushing off the foot during walking, and then the soleus muscle, which is deeper and lies underneath the gastrocnemius. Activities that require explosive push off of the foot in sports like basketball, volleyball, badminton, and other racket sports can increase the risk of an Achilles rupture. During this movement, peak stress to the tendon can reach upwards to 2200 newtons, or 6 to 12 times the body weight. Achilles ruptures are most common in those between 40 to 50 years of age. Males suffer from this more often and a typical patient is someone who is active intermittently or also known as a weekend warrior. There is some evidence that large amounts of high intensity or high speed work or running on soft surfaces like sand may increase the Achilles injury risk. Now that's not to say that hard physical work is bad for you, but you need to be careful and take rest days seriously to allow for proper recovery. A systematic review in 2017 shows that an increased BMI or a body mass index is an important biomarker of Achilles tendinopathy. And higher BMI would indicate that individuals who are overweight or obese will be more prone to an Achilles injury due to an increase in load on the tendon during activity. Another key biomarker is having an inverse lipid profile. This means that those with higher blood triglycerides, lower HDL cholesterol or the good cholesterol, may be involved in the development of Achilles tendinopathy. Lastly, Achilles tendon pain and stiffness that occurs with activity upon waking up in the morning and on palpation of the tendon are also warning signs that you can potentially suffer a more severe Achilles injury. Whether you're a weekend warrior, chasing your kids in the backyard, or an elite level athlete, there are some Achilles injury prevention techniques that you can apply in your daily life to decrease your chances of a major injury to your Achilles tendon. Before you do anything too explosive or high intensity, warm up the Achilles tendon by going for a brisk walk do some light jogging on the spot, and perform some heel to toe raises to help the muscles and tendon improve its circulation and flexibility. Gradually increase the intensity of your warm up and listen to your body as you go along. Before you engage in any high intensity work with your calves, you should not feel any stiffness or hesitation in the movements when you push off. If your workout only consists of high impact, high load and explosive movements, you may want to diversify. Research has shown that repetitive stress on the Achilles tendon can cause degeneration of the tendon and hinder its ability to recover properly, even if you're in good shape. Cross-training into other activities like biking, swimming, and yoga are some examples where you can still get a great workout in, but giving your Achilles a break. One of the less common strategies that's being used is releasing the trigger points or knots on the calf. If your calf muscles have multiple trigger points, it can overall alter the ability of the muscle to contract and potentially put more strain on the Achilles tendon. One can release trigger points by finding an area of tenderness on the calf and apply and hold pressure between 30 seconds to a minute. If you have access to treatment using acupuncture and dry needling, it can be very effective and quick to release these knots. Eccentric contractions are exercises that can build both strength and flexibility in the tendon. They are specifically recommended because the force generated during this type of contraction replicates to what you need it for in a functional activity. A simple exercise here involves slow heel drops on a staircase this can create an eccentric contraction of the calf and Achilles. Hope this video was helpful for you to understand how important the Achilles tendon is and how to prevent injuries to this area. Consider subscribing to our channel to support our work. Leave us any comments below if you have any questions and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. See you in the next one.